focus. When they heard these things all in the synagogue, they were filled with wrath. There is reference to anger in both the first reading and the gospel today. Naaman was angry and so were the people in the synagogue. However, the similarity ends there. Naaman was angry but still managed to listen and act rightly. The people in the synagogue became infuriated enough to kill Jesus and acted with intent to do so. Both Naaman and those in the synagogue were angry because they had to face the truth that God does not play favorites. His choice does not depend on our ancestry or traditions. Even prophets get murdered, but God simply asks us to obey His word. There is much that we should get angry about when we look at our world today. Politicians manipulate the truth to stuff their agenda. Wars rage and the earth bleeds and groans at the suffering we inflict upon it. Do not go gentle into the good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Dylan Thomas' beautiful words remind us that we must indeed get angry, but our rage should not impel us to act, to do everything in our power to preserve the good. Anger that comes from being unable to see or accept reality, we must shun. Fruit Lord, guide my heart and hands when I get angry. Give me the courage to face and accept the truth and the grace to let go of destructive rage.